Mike check one two and just like that we're live loud and clear ladies and gentlemen welcome to the stream today we're going to be playing some golf because this game has been kicking our ass the last few weeks and we got to get our shit together or it's going to get real ugly real quick so we're looking to make a comeback i don't know maybe we can't call it a comeback because we haven't really we haven't really lost the tour card yet for elite but we are on the border we're like one bad performance away from getting stripped of elite tour cards so i'm looking at it i'm looking at it as a comeback you better believe it sitting on three demotion marks sweating bullets right now for uh next time we tee it up in elite tour so we got to get some confidence built up, get our shit together, and try to make it happen, Captain. What's up, Josh? Welcome to the stream. How you doing on this beautiful Sunday morning? Uh, we also got Ant checking in on the YouTube. What up, brother? Gage with a J coming in on Facebook. How's it going? Carson, welcome in. Hopefully, everybody's doing swell on this beautiful Sunday Easter morning. Kalen, what's up, man? Bostonian, what's up, brother? We got all three platforms checking in in the chat. Gotta love it. Locks heads spreading out throughout the internet. What's up, Roderick? How you doing, man? Sitting in the golf shop at work. Glad you're live with something to do. You mean there ain't no golfers out there on Easter Sunday trying to get their swings in? I'm sure the golf courses are probably packed, right? Well, it depends on what the weather's like up in Wisconsin. Because here, it's fairly decent. It's beautiful golf weather. So I would assume there'd be a bunch of crazy people out there trying to get their Easter swings in before, you know, they got to go do family responsibilities. How about we smoke a little weed? Who's in? Actually, what I meant to say, let's smoke a lot of weed. Richard, good morning, man. How you doing? So I just picked up some new stuff that I've never tried before, and I'm glad I did. Uh, cookies brand. I don't know if you have cookies brand at your dispensary. First time trying it. Their flour, that is. Uh, and it is pretty decent i got mexican flan i'm not racist that's just the name of the strain don't blame me and it's 32 percent thc coming in with four percent terpenes that's the highest terpene count i think i've ever seen uh but it's not the greatest some i don't really know how to take the terpene count because i've had like 2% terpene profile that tastes way better than this stuff. And this is 4%. So kind of can't really go by the highest number. I guess you got to really look at the uh, different terpene profiles that is in this particular batch. Because, I mean, there's so many different, like, you're starting to get into, like, some real connoisseur type shit. But... There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve different terpene profiles just listed on the package. I mean, limonene, beta chloraline, beta mycerine, linolil, whatever the hell that is, alpha humiline, terpenol, beta pinene, beta utosamol. I can't even pronounce all these words. So I got to brush up on what all that stuff means, but all I know is THC is above 30%, which means we're off to the promised land. Hit him one time, Nate. Woo! What's up, Kenny? Nah, but the flower is pretty nice looking, nice looking. 
uh, light green, very frosty, fluffy, and it tastes damn good. So let's do it. Let's get the beard hair out of there first. That's the only thing about the big bushy beard growing in. God damn it, sheds. And then it winds up in your bong. What's up, Donnie? How you doing, man? Chad checking in as well. What's up, brother? It's Zuck Tribb, and you went to go comment at the same time a video suggestion popped up and literally took you to another stream. Fucking Facebook hating on the lock says, I don't know what to tell you about Facebook, man. They got a mind of their own. They do whatever the hell they want. And... There's no trying to explain what's going on there. Uh, only thing I can suggest is hit up the Twitch or the YouTube. We're currently live on all three platforms. Chris Locks on all three. I shouldn't be that hard to find. Just look for the bong ripping hippie. And I'll pop right up. Didn't get a Facebook notification, but the Twitch one came up right on. Facebook might take a little bit. In all fairness, I mean, I do have 87,000. That's not a realistic number because where are these people? I've never once seen 87,000 people in my stream or nor does 87,000 people interact with my content. In fact... 8,000 people don't even interact with me. So that number is definitely inflated by bots and probably foreigner people that followed my stream five years ago when I used to play PUBG and they'll never come back. What was my point? I don't know. I don't know what my point was. I think it was something along the lines of Facebook sucks. Somebody just followed me on Twitch. I didn't see who it was. Thank you very much for the support. I do appreciate it. Oh, that was the point. Uh, yeah, so 87,000 followers. Like, whether or not they're real people, those notifications still have to get distributed between 87,000 people versus the YouTube and Twitch. I might have... A hundred followers or whatever. It's much more realistic. So it's probably just a matter of numbers. What's up, Joseph? All right. Enough of the range. Let's go play. Nothing special today. We're just going to basically be playing practice rounds, societies. Trying to get some confidence built up, hit some good shots, make some putts, and, uh, you know, get out of this mental. Actually, it's not even, but if I'm being completely honest, it's nothing to do with my mental capabilities the past few weeks. It's all about play time. Like, I just don't play enough to actually keep it. I don't play enough to keep the muscle memory where it needs to be. Uh, it's too erratic. Like the tempo is just not locked in. We're not executing like we should be. So it has nothing to do with being a weak minded little bitch like we usually are. It has everything to do with not playing the game. So let's play the game. Allegedly, you've been following for three years. Didn't know it's been that long. Time flies when you're having fun, right? You know what they say? Boom. Somebody else coming in with a Twitch follow that I can't see the name, but I do appreciate it. Much love. All right, let's do it. 
starting off with a par five. If we don't at least get an eagle opportunity, if we're not putting for eagle, shut it the fuck down. Locks has an H bit in three here. <laughs> a couple more gray strands maybe have grown in. Maybe a few more grays. I got about maybe two weeks left of the beard, and then I'm going to uh, knock it down to spring summer length, which is just a nice little, you know, a number two maybe. Number two, number three, I'm not sure. But it's getting it's getting to the point now where the winter coat has gotta be shed. Sadler coming over from Facebook. All right. Appreciate the love. Thank you. All right, I said Eagle putt, and that's not gonna be likely because I didn't realize this. We were this far away, unless I just absolutely rip the driver, which I think I'll make it. But that's a risky, risky maneuver. And since we're practicing like we're playing, let's play smart. If the cut was on the line, I wouldn't be doing that dumb shit. So let's get some confidence built up. Little flop shot just to drop it in and we're good to go. Easy money right here. Just don't hit it like a bitch. Beautiful. Still swinging the real clubs? Yes, I am. Uh, I played maybe two weeks ago. Shot like ass, but it was fun. I think I shot a 112. 102. 112? 102, I think it was. I don't know. I don't remember. It was bad, whatever the case was. All right, good bird. Nice positive way to start. Boom. Thank you very much, William motherfucking Whitmer. The man himself coming in with 3,000 shining golden sparklies. Thank you, William. Appreciate that. How's life? Hopefully it's good. Soldier set and got into lawn bowls. You mean like lawn bowling? That's a... Uh, that's a real thing? Please explain that. Obviously, you're bowling in a lawn. Like, I'm assuming there's probably uh, some sort of a surface you have to lay out, or you just rolling the ball in the grass. This could be good. Little little hop to the right. What's up, Laz? Welcome to the stream. And we're going to get it, too. This might be something. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves. We're going to be putting for ego. It's going to be a 50-foot putt, but it'll be all right. Ah, it's still on the green. That's a green. That's definitely green and underrated. Is that, is that even a real stat? Green and under regulation. Golf League starts in two weeks in Wisconsin. All right. Good deal. I'm too scared to join Golf League. Like, I'm a member of my club just because I want the discounted prices and all that. And I'm allowed to join the league because I'm a member, but i too much of a pussy. I don't like playing with people, if I'm being honest with you. I like getting out there by myself and just, like, the meditation part of it, if that makes sense. I don't want to embarrass myself in front of a bunch of strangers. Bradley, thank you for the 99. Appreciate that. Green in regulation, yes, but that would be in two shots, not in one shot. It's a par four. So we're we're under regulation. A 
I might be a little firm. Oh, it's not firm enough. Damn, if I hit it five feet further, it's money. Birdie, birdie. We'll take it. Boy, what's up, brother? The smoked ham. Listen. I'm I'm like the smoked brisket. Okay, at least give me more of a give me the manliest meat you can think of, not a fucking ham. Goggins, let them know. You don't know me, son. I don't think this quite makes it uphill into the wind, but we're going to... Actually, you know what? We're good here. This is perfect. Yeah, we're good here. Oh, too bad you can't hit it. Actually, this might be good by accident. That's a terrible fucking swing, and that's a great result. We don't deserve it, but God damn it, I'll take it. As a golfer for 30 plus years, join a league. You'll be nervous. Feel out the place. While it's the best thing you can do, you'll become... Absolutely, I'm not disagreeing. I'll become better. But, uh... It's m m mostly a time thing, man. I spread myself too thin as it is right now. I have way too many hobbies and activities that I tangle myself into. So when I play for... When I play golf, it's damn sure not to, like... maintain any type of I don't I don't keep a handicap I know in my mind like if I'm progressing or getting better in the long run so I kind of just do everything I'm playing against the course right you know I'm playing against the day uh not necessarily anybody else basically like I said I use golf as just like that's sort of like my meditation my getaway I started taking a little bit too serious about getting involved in leagues and Especially, gam like I, I ain't ever gambling on golf and getting taking it that crazy. My mind goes bonkers thinking about cornhole and trying to stay competitive and that shit. Like I definitely don't need anything else. But I understand what you're saying for sure. Like I have no interest in playing any type of golf competition in real life, other than against myself. Scrambles are fun, though. That's a good point. I played a couple of scrambles with the Golf Ninja. You guys might remember the Golf Ninja. He's a good friend of the stream. Uh, he comes in town every once or twice a year, maybe. And it's been a while since he hit me up, so hopefully he comes in town soon and we can get back together. But what was my point? I just completely lost my train of thought. Scrambles, yes. I played my first scramble with him and a couple of other friends, and it was fucking awesome. It was probably one of the most fun times I've had on the golf course. But you got to have the right group. You know what I mean? You got to have the right people with you. And uh, that day was awesome. So I would definitely do it again, but not getting into like a random sc scramble by any means. I definitely want to make a trip to Wisconsin. I kind of feel bad because Bobby Boy invited me to his wet. Like, dude, what kind of... That's like one of the... One of the uh, most kindest gestures you could do in friendship right it's like hey i'm inviting you to my wedding come to my house play some golf with me 
And uh, my life was fucking just in chaos at that time, and I couldn't make it out. So it didn't work. But anyway, long story short, I would love to get out to Wisconsin sometime or another. To at least just like, even if I just go to get a round in with uh, the hawk's nest in real life, shake the man's hand, give him a hug, because he is my brother from another mother. Look at that. We, we just broke the stream matrix. Two notifications came in at the same time. Twitch and Facebook interacting, intertwining. I don't know what's going to happen in the end result. We might just explode. Somebody just dropped some stars. I think it's Bradley coming in with 145 stars. Thank you very much. Appreciate the love. And then somebody came in underneath that with a Twitch follow. I couldn't see it. Sorry. Yeah, we were actually going to play Lost Year, and that was the, that was the whole plan. Uh, so hopefully, maybe like this summer, I might be able to pull it off. The best streamer, the best streamer on the internet. There's a lot of good streamers on the internet. I appreciate the kind words, but I don't know if I'm the best. If I was the best, there'd be like ten thousand people in here. That's not necessarily true because think about music, think about movies, think about anything in culture, right? The best doesn't always get the most recognition. It's not always the case. Usually it's not the case. Matter of fact, the best stuff you usually got to dig for. A lot of times the shit that's thrown in front of your face on a daily basis is crap. But he got a bigger budget, so you'll see them more. Who's in for a dab? I think I am. Let's chip this in for Eagle, or are we putting this? I might putt this. Hold on, let's think about it. Yeah, let's go putt. Not hard enough. It's never getting there. It's good, though. It's a good place to hit it so it didn't go down that hill. We're still putting for birdie. It's all good. Roberto, thank you very much for the 100 shining golden sparklies. Thank you for the love. The best are usually too real to get the recognition they deserve. It's a good point. Very good point. Keep growing and persistent. You'll have 10K in here one day. Uh, if I was a betting man, I'd say that'll never happen. 10,000 viewers on PGA? I don't think so. What, what are we going to do? We're going to do a dab. That's right. We got a lot of choices to make. Uh, so let's just go to the first one. I think this is Gassy Taffy. You probably can't see it because of the green screen, but it's pretty nice little uh, sugar wax here. Are stars or gifted subs better as far as fees and taxes? Uh, for you, I believe gifted subs are better, but for me, it doesn't matter. If you send me $5 worth of stars or $5 worth of gifted subs, it's still $5 at the end of the day. It's just a matter of the percentages they're going to take for you. Like it might cost you $8 to send me $5 in stars. I don't think gifted subs have that much of an overhead, but don't like, I don't really look at it enough to know to give you a straight answer. Uh, I would probably say gifted subs for your sake. But for me, I don't, it, it's, it's all the same. Gassy Taffy. Let's dab it up. We are already preheated and ready to rock. Let's do the damn thing.
we were talking about what ten thousand viewers on this game. I think the the most popular streamer to ever play this was probably Doctor Disrespect, and he had about that. I think he had like eleven thousand. He was teetering between like nine, ten, eleven thousand. <clears throat> and that's a dude that's got millions and millions of followers around the world. I mean, I'll, you're right, never say never, but I'll never see that. Not doing dabs and bong rips during the live stream. <coughs> What's up, Zachary? How you doing, dude? By the way, speaking of Dr. Disrespect, you guys remember that time I made him quit? You guys remember the time Dr. Disrespect Rage quit after one hole. I remember. And I got it on video. So he can't deny it. <laughs> I still got the clip. This might be okay if it's got to put the brakes on a little bit. And of course it doesn't. Come on, baby. Get in there. Good roll. <clears throat> Here, let's put a little top spin on that. Boom. Landon coming in with 10 gifted subs. $50 cold hard cash in my hand. Right there in the palm. Parallel, not perpendicular. Why? Because it's easier to fold and put it in my pocket. Thank you, Landon. You bad motherfucker. Appreciate the love you. Give you a little secret. If you're not, go over. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. It's already too late. It's already too late. I was going to say, if you want one of them gifted subs, you might be able to slide into the Facebook and get yourself one. But at this point, let's not give Facebook any more shout outs or support than they deserve, even though that's my biggest platform. But they haven't done a goddamn thing for the Locksheads in the past six years we've been here. Whoa, I don't know how we made it through those trees. Can you get a Ric Flair drip? Like, as in the actual weed itself? Like, I can't give you that because I don't have any, but I can give you one of these. I've actually had uh, one of his, what was it, banana something. It was a Ric Flair drip strain, and it was pretty good. What's up, Brendan? How about Locks driving the Zamboni? When did I ever drive a Zamboni? I don't remember that. Jesus fucking what? How? That didn't seem right. I didn't see him right at all. It's all right. We'll uh, let's get par and get out of here. No big deal.
Come on, baby. Turn back around. Yes. What a roll. Let's go. Let's fucking go, dude. Got out of there. Sativa Dominant? Uh, the Ric Flair? I don't remember what it was, actually. I just bought one pre-roll just to try it. I don't remember exactly what it was. I think it was Banana Muffins. Something like that. It was something banana, so you could probably look it up and find out. What's up, Nick? How you doing, man? All right, down 23, so we're going to call it eight yards. Puts me at 131. 132, sorry, whatever. And then, yeah, we're still going to be short. Okay, we're in between clubs. So we're going to go gap wedge and then choke up on a little bit. Ah, I pushed it. Damn it, dude. That would have been so good if I didn't have that little push hook at the end. In the hole, please. It's a good swing. All right, it's the money shot right here. Routine as it gets. <clears throat> Come on, baby. Be the one. It's got to put the brakes on. It's going to be real good. Settle down. I'm talking about. What's up, Chris? Happy Easter to the Locks family. Boom. Jeffrey coming in with 1,735 shining golden sparklies. He likes odd numbers. I don't know why, but that's his thing. Thank you, Jeff. Hopefully you and the family's all good and having a great Easter Sunday. Uh, somebody just dropped 145. Damn it, I saw it and then lost it. There it is. Actually, hold on. Let me look at the replay. What's up, Blake? How you doing, dude? It was Bradley coming in with 145. Thank you, sir. It's not about the viewership. It's all about the content in the community that makes you the best streamer on the internet. Hey. Let's go, Bradley. Appreciate the love, dude. All right, we got some decisions to make here. I don't really like this shot because of the wind. It's going to put us in that bottleneck fairway. I'm thinking more about going here and trying to land the ball in between these bunkers. Let's do that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow. You fucking got to be shitting me. All right. Well... That's what that is. It's 
stuff it, baby. Let's get par and get out of here. Come on, get up. Saddle, let's go. Come on, bitch. Oh, I blasted it way too hard. Damn, that would have went in too. It's a good thing there's not 10,000 in here. Locks wouldn't be able to have combo. That's a good point. It's a very good point. And let's be honest, if there's 10,000 people in here, half of them are going to be trolls and just obnoxious anyway, most likely, so. We're in a good spot. What's up, Bright Shoot? How's it going, dude? Now, my ego would love to see, I mean, we don't need 10,000. How about a, th how about 1,000? Let's start there, 1,000. But there's no one seeing that on golf unless you're mainstream and I don't think there's one mainstream uh, content creator that knows how to play this game at a high level. We do miss the middle finger though. That's I mean, I ain't had to give somebody the finger in a long time. It has been a long time. Get up there, ball. Okay. So bad at chipping. Whoa, that one almost got away. You remember almost 300 in here. Yeah, that was during the height of COVID for sure. When everyone was sitting at home, bored out of their mind. One time, baby. This is going to be so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nate, hit him one time. <clears throat> Always love them shots where as soon as you hit, like as soon as it leaves the club face and you see the perfect, you just know. You just know you set it up right and it's got a chance. I think I'm going to try something here. We'll try a little fade into the green. Looking good. Not quite the fade we were, or I wanted more of a fade on it, but I think the wind caught it. That's not bad.
I don't like the chip here. I'm going to flop it. Flop it and stop it. How did I see the green grid in the fairway? Uh, it must not have been fairway. It was probably fringe, I would assume. <clears throat> but if you are on the green, you can just change it to like a club and do that. It'll give you the lie grid and you can use the lie grid. I, I, might, I may have done that. <clears throat> or it was just fringe. What's up, Andrew? It's looking good. If I get a little help to the left. Yes. Now settle down. All right, it didn't. It took a wicked bounce and just didn't want to stop. <clears throat> Let's go. to something now let's keep it up beautiful I should take a right bounce. Mm, well, it's light rough anyway, so it's all good. My goodness, it's going to be all over it. Come on. Thought I had a little bit more backspin. Fucking hit it too hard again. God. Done that twice on those little short putts. Just putting it right through the line. Foy, have a good one, brother. I think we're going to go four iron and just try to... Be a little bit of a run out, right? Yeah, it's going to be an uphill putt, but I like this club better. Beautiful, slight, fast. It's got to get up that slope or it's going to be trouble. God damn it. It's not what I had in mind. <clears throat>
This is going to be a short iron in. Right? No. Bradley, thanks for the 200, man. Terrible. <clears throat> it's the right club, but it's way off on a slow. It's a good spot to be, though. Better than this mess. Not hitting it, not hitting it hard enough on the long putts, and hitting it way too hard on the short one. John, how's it going, man? Yes, come on, baby. We got a little backstop there. I don't think we're going to need it, though. It should settle down. That'll do. All right, let's finish up 10 under here. <laughs> Just don't go in the water. Don't go in the water, for Christ's sake. Come on, I can play that. Oh, my God. Worst case scenario. Flub the last shot like a fucking clown. Get in the hole, god damn it. Stupid, stupid, stupid. That's the thing, though. We can't have those, right? That's the difference between above the cut and below the cut. The two tempo mishaps we had we waterballed both times and it cost us straight like the one the first hole we parred out and got out of there but still that can't happen first round of the day we'll take it we just made a couple mistakes could have easily been a 10 under
Bradley, thanks for the 475. Appreciate that. It says this last stars for the good round. Thank you, dude. Appreciate the love, my man. What? Rub of the Green has no event. That's right. I think uh, I do remember hearing that, that they were going to take a break on that, which is unfortunate. As much bitching and complaining as I did about that society. Oh, that's like the heavy rough, isn't it? Yeah, fuck me, dude. Right on the border, too. I'd rather be in the sand. Or like this ball. <laughs> if it's a blade of grass to the left, it's good. And if it's a blade of grass to the right, it's probably like in the sand bunker. So somehow or another, we land it in the worst possible spot. It says we got a decent lie out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit a gap wedge and hope for the best. Hmm. If I didn't push it, it would have been great. What's up, Gary? Uh-oh. <clears throat> Could be trouble. It's not bad. It's gonna be a wicked putt though. We got to thread the needle on this one. Anything to the left is going to be big trouble. So it's got to land to the right of the pin. Nice. We'll take that. Didn't hit it. Can't get away from the bunkers this round.
That should be pretty decent. Boom. All right, we're on the board. We're going to find every sand bunker so far on this course. I think we are. Every <laughs> Well, except for the first one. Remember, we were in the heavy rough, but we were pretty much in that direction. at all cliff what's up man thanks for the 500 shining golden sparklies appreciate the love dude all right we gotta save our ass here good par could have been a lot worse we're not doing ourselves any favor off the tee that's the thing we just got to find a fair way so let's start there how about that I don't know. That's starting to head towards the sand again, isn't it? God damn it. It'll hold up short, though. I don't think that's going to go all the way in. That's a good swing. That's all over it, baby. Settle down. <clears throat> nice touch on that putt. Playing smart. I know it's boring, but let's play birdie golf here. Let's go. Don't have to look good. Just got to be good. Hang in there. It's not good. Uh, light rough. Light rough. Fuck. <clears throat> What's up, Paulie? Thank you, man. Appreciate that, dude.
That's gonna be okay, even though it was a terrible swing. Settle. Alright. Excuse me. not even going to get there. Nice little roll out there. Perfect. That was a tough shot, considering the lie we had. Slow start to the front nine. Let's see if we can turn it up a little bit and get into a rhythm. That's the thing, man. I can't really find a good rhythm. I mean, we had four birdies in a row on the first round, but then we kind of fell off and then had that mistake when we waterballed. It's just trying to lock in and stay in. This could be good. It's too deep. Uh, we're still putting. We'll take it. <clears throat> Nick, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Uh, we're doing a little bit of everything today, man. We got some Mexican flan flour, which is pretty damn good. And it's about time to do a dab, I must say, right? It's been at least 10 holes or so. Like, this stuff right here, you got to look at. It is, I don't remember what it was. It's, uh, hold on. Give me a second here. Something. Lemon, lime, something. Lemon, lime, whatever but it's just the look of it so you can imagine the aroma right the lemony the uh like kind of like a sprite think of a sprite smell yeah and take a look at that beautiful shit right there i know the green screen probably doesn't make it look yeah let me uh focus that puppy in Hold on, hold on. I'll get there, I promise. There it is. That is straight up sugar, and it looks and smells so fucking good. And I was saving it for uh, a special occasion for the stream. So before we do a dab, I haven't tried it yet. I've just been drooling all over it. So let's dab that. I wish I remembered the name. Maybe it was like lemon lime slime, lemon slime lime. I don't remember something like that, but it's pretty damn good. We're going to dab it up. It's really soft though. It's like, it's hard to get a scoop of it. So trying not to drop it all over the place. What's up Miles? How you doing dude? Now that's good. That's nice and smooth, mellow, goes down uh, real good. Like doesn't doesn't trigger that harsh call. And that was a pretty big dab.
That might be my favorite. Uh, by the way, it's live resin, too, so that makes a huge difference. It was not Lemon Lime Punch. Um, I might still have the the wrapper in the trash can if we go digging through the dumpster. Not literally the dumpster, like my, my trash can. I could probably find it. So let me play this hole, and I'll take a quick look because it literally just might be right on top. Could be good. Oh, it's way too much club. God damn. Got all of it, huh? That was a slight miscalculation. Man, that dab hit me hard. That's what I needed. Here's one of them. Uh, grease fire was what I did. That was the first dab I did. But the other one I threw in the trash can. And it's going to eat me up until I figure it out. Here, let's lay this up here. We don't need the driver. We'll just take the fairway, drop in a nice little wedge shot, put it in for birdie, and move on. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I don't have to go to the trash can. Shit, I can just look at the menu. Do you? I got the menu on my phone, Locksheads. Jesus Christ. Now we're thinking. Desert lime. That's what it was. Desert lime. Maybe it was dessert lime. I don't know. I looked at it quick. Desert lime didn't make sense now that I just said it. It could be dessert lime. What? You get the point. Aren't they basically spelled the same? With like one little uh, minor difference that's not. It's two S's, right? Yeah. Dessert you want more of is just two S's. Desert is one S. Yes. Okay. That's how I was taught in elementary school. So I think it was dessert lime. Terrible swing, but we're all right. We'll make that putt. Didn't move at all. Hold it. Okay. 
I just need to get to a point where I'm just going to commit to flopping everything. No more chip shots. Whoa. This actually might be good. It's going to come off that slope. Yeah, yeah. I'll pretend like I meant to do this. Come on, dude. The last, the last line got me. Damn it. We didn't deserve that birdie anyway. It's too much. All right, does it hold up? At least give me the light rough. Yeah, we're good here. Come on. Fuck it. We're hitting driver. Got all of it. Let's put this in a weird spot, though. Let's go test our flop skills. I say that'll do. Let's fucking go. We made that harder than it had to be, but either way, we'll take the birdie. Good ball. <clears throat> oh, a little lip job there.
slow, man. I felt it. In the hole. <laughs> All right, I felt like that was a disappointing round. We could have done so much more on that course. I mean, 10 under minimum. I will right, we'll play out the second round here, and then uh, I got to shut it down. Get my day going. Take the fairway, stick it nice and close on the approach shot, tap it in, move on. Keep it simple. Uh-oh. That made me a little nervous. That wouldn't have been good for morale. <laughs> Just get over the bunker. Like, I know it's a worse lie, but I don't want to be in the sand anymore. I'm tired of it. It's killing me. Actually, I take it back. I'd much rather be in the sand here. <laughs> I should have had a three. I like the flop shot, though. It's starting to come together real nice. Just forget about the chip shot altogether. Yeah. <laughs> 
don't know where these slows are coming from. Just get up in the fairway. That'll work. That was a good layup. <clears throat> God damn it. Slow again. Good bounce, though. Okay. Oh, I didn't hit it hard enough. I don't think that gets there. Fuck no. It's weak. Birdie, right? Yes. Finally get rolling here. All right, let's kick it in gear. Start finding the tempo. That's all it is. Whoops. Pushed it and slowed it. We're all right here, though. A little flop shot will handle this. Wow. All right. Let's just fucking blast it out of here. I don't even think that makes it. Club it up one time, maybe. Uh, we'll go f lob wedge. I don't know. Now I don't have confidence in it at all. Sandwich.
That might be okay. That's probably going to take a nice little bounce towards the pin, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn. Looking good. Slight push. Easy does it. Come on, get left. Fuck. Uh, I still might putt that. What's up, Ian? Damn it. Damn good roll. Stay. It's not going to stay. Steven, what's up, bro? <clears throat> A little less spin. I didn't put any spin on it. It's not going to stop. Money. <gasps> Damn it. If I would have hit the pin, it probably would have went in there. Just slipped the outside of the cup. And I missed that. You fucking got to be kidding me. I think there was a line at the putter that I didn't see because I tried to putt it too quick. Fuck. 
fucking slow. All right, just a sprinkle of the backspin. Not too much here because we need the release. Let's try to roll it forward a little bit. Take a nice little hop. Big Daddy, what's up, brother? Welcome in. Stuck in between clubs, and I don't like it. <clears throat> Can't come up short, so I think a lob wedge is probably not the business. So we'll go sand wedge and just try to choke up on a little bit. Looking good. You know, like a slight fast 102 or it might not get there. So we got to make sure we bring the swing. There it is. That'll work. I think if we would have slowed that at all, it's not going to make it. This is barely going to make it. Get up. Good shot. That was close, though. Oh my god, dripped it in. Wow. Just stay in the fairway for Christ's sake. Ugh, that's worst case scenario. I don't even think I can make the green from here. 
<laughs> Fuck. Jesus Christ, dude. Wow. Same thing we did last time. <clears throat> it's not the best way to end it. To say the least, but... I think that was our first bogey in that whole tournament. Fucking last hole. I don't know, it was a lot of mishaps on tempo, but we did make some good swings. We just got to work on our consistency, man. That's all it is. I'm a, I got to be honest, I'm scared to death to play the next tournament of TGC Tours because I think it can go bad before it can go good. We just been, haven't been putting the time in, but uh, we got to suck it up and show up eventually. So I didn't play last week because I played like two practice. I was going to go live. Loaded up the stream, loaded everything up. I played two practice rounds. And it was not good. I was nowhere near the cut line. So I'm like, well, I, I'm going to make an executive decision here and just sit out because we can't afford to take uh, a bad performance. So try to go into it with a little bit of confidence. And of course, we're comfortable with. I'm going to be sweating bullets either way. I actually haven't, I don't even, what's, here, let's take a look real quick. I don't know what this week's course is. City Furs, I don't think I've played it. Doesn't ring a bell, let me see if anybody's finished up. Jesus Christ, look at these scores. I mean, there's a lot of 50s on the scorecard, so. Well, not a lot, but enough to say it's scorable. Which means the cut line will probably be 20 under or some shit. <clears throat> All right, I got to get ready for my day. Uh,. Just trying to get some practice rounds in. Sitting around board, didn't have much to do early on, so figured why not go live, play some golf. Uh, may have to do some practice rounds on this particular course just to see if we're going to be comfortable with it and the conditions that we're going to be dealt. I'll probably wind up playing, I don't know, I might wait till Wednesday just to see where the, where the cut's at to play it out. But either way, I got to shut it down. Appreciate you guys for hanging out. Hope you get a great rest of your day. Uh, enjoy the Easter Sunday with your families. And hopefully we'll see you probably before Wednesday. I don't know. I might go live for some practice rounds or something like that with the uh, Elite Tour course. But we'll see how it goes. All right. I love you all. We'll see you soon. Have a great rest of your day. And uh, that's it.